Here we are with the Fidelity 3000 base station I bought off eBay and uh, was clearly from the well reputed organisation Knights at Curtin and Lindsay. And it was sold as scrap. So they've, somebody's been using this as a test rig and it's been set so it was only doing about 50 milliwatts by linking parts out. Uh, the microphone has been rewired, if you looked at the video, um, to something else. So that was the first thing to do was to wire that to normal, as, as in normal for a great radio, great being the brand, not what it is. So there it is, channel 31, we've been listening to the those kind of people in Nottingham. So although on paper it's not as sensitive as many sets, like about 1.5 microvolts for 12 decibel cyanide, it will hear down to 0.3 of a microvolt, it's just with noise. Uh, they're not a high quality set, and um, but they are a unique style and I accept that. So the meat is a bit knackered on this, it's never going to go to zero. Um, and let's see whether Mr Chippy is out there, he's got a lovely speaker, there's no point in going over to the extension speaker unless this turns, to, turns out to be distorted because it's a, it's a four inch speaker. Tango 21, Mr. Chippy, do you copy? Tango 21, receiving you loud and clear. Roger, off we go. Roger. So it's got knobs missing, the tone calibrate for SWR meter and the RF gain are missing. It really doesn't matter. As I said in right, the... Right, we'll come up to the end of the lane. Roger, got you at the end of the lane. So as I said in the previous video with, with the repair work, uh, we're going to be using this with our tannoy system. The idea of buying this is because it's one of the few sets, base stations, that has a tape recorder output socket. So we can take that output straight into the input of the tannoy system's amplifier. This is going to be fantastic because people can go within a mile and go, I build Tango Towers and I'll actually hear them all over the tannoy system. I won't be able to reply to them, but I'll be able to. Oh, oh, unless I'm in the house. We're going to, I've ordered a loft aerial and uh, I'll do a video on installing the loft aerial. Right, we're now passing Ancaster service station. Roger, got you. Ancaster service station. Is there anything like a price? No, it closed 50 minutes ago. Roger. Right, we're now going through Ancaster Crossroads. Roger, got you at Ancaster Crossroads. So there we are, it works for a mile. Right, we're now going to the top of the hill. We'll go down in towards Wilsford. Over. Roger, got you at the top of the hill. Roger, got you going round Scratchy Corner, Wilsford. I'm on the Fidelity CB3000 FM base station and it's doing two and a half watts over. Yep, roger that. Well, it's always been. Roger. Oh, two and a half watts is good for one of these. Right, we're now going over uh, Wilsford Level Crossing. Over. Roger, got you going over Wilsford Level Crossing. That's the three mile point. Roger got you at the Kelby turn. That's the four mile point. It's about the first time I think we've not had the air conditioning on in here for quite a, a time, so you haven't got the rumble of that today. Roger, got you at the Grayley's turn. And that's our worst one, that's the five mile point, it's surrounded by trees. Oh, remember for those of you who don't see these time after time after time, these are comparison tests. Just go again please, I didn't read that. Yeah, I said it's slow going because we're behind a convoy of tractors over. Convoy of tractors it is, Roger. So, you know, he's just communicated with me an out-of-the-ordinary message at that, at that dodgy point. So, you know, 
hey, that's what it's about, communication. So it's the wrong side of a hill, it's our worst possible direction, these are comparison tests, at the IBA deer being at, at the scratchy corner point, how does it sound in comparison to other sets? And uh, surprisingly this is working better than you'd expect, and it always sounds good because of a big speaker. Roger got you going over Rawsby level crossing, and when you get there, perhaps a surprise on that petrol station. One five seven point seven and one uh, one eighty three point nine over. Yeah, that's uh, correct. That's what, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, wow, that's come down. This was the two o two or two ten or something, wasn't it, at one time? Well, that's it. Thanks very much, and uh, ten ten. Wow. So we had a good conversation. This two and a half watts output. Uh, if you read that into a cheap meter, it'd probably be three and a half plus anyway. So you know, I know you're a bit short changed on these. They are a three and a half watt set. They're not a four watt set, but a lot of sets are anyway. So um, if you saw the previous video with us doing the repair, the first thing about it was that the power supply regulator transistor was missing. Um, there's a resistor, ballast resistor, or dropper resistor, whatever you want to call it, in the transmit driver was missing, deliberately removed and the microphone had been rewired for something totally different. So, it just much piecing together, but of course, it's not worth doing. It's not in a nice state. You know, it's not something you could say, I want £65 for it, which is now what it's, it's effectively cost. Uh, but, you know, buying it, having it posted here and, and work on it. So, um, it isn't worth the jobs like this, and this is why it's been sold as spares, because that's what it is, it's, it was a scrap set. So what I'm not trying to get across, I'm not trying to say, oh, look how clever I am, I fixed the scrap set. No, it was an uneconomic un repair, and it's cosmetically so bad that nobody would buy it anyway. But at least it's living a, a useful life, and it's going to go onto our tannoy system. And as I say, I'll show you a video of us doing just that with a loft aerial. So I'm going to go over to our Harrier base station with it, and let's see what it sounds like on a standard replacement mine. Harrier CVH Q base station using the standard 